Hello everyone. Today I want us to learn how to design a spare gear in Fusion 360. <clears throat> we are going to design this gear from the scratch but that doesn't mean that you can't actually get help from Fusion. There is a way to design a spare gear from Fusion but this one that we are going to do we're going to do it like if you are working in AutoCAD for example if you are given this dimension to just get this gear as it is this spare gear as it is done then I'm going to show you how to do it in Fusion 360 like I've said also you can also design gear from Fusion 360 <coughs> from uh, scratch going to when you have your drawing space you go to utilities and then you come to add ins scripts and add ins and then you scroll down to spare gear here you select that one and say run okay you can change parameters here but for now I would probably leave it as 12 gears <coughs> and then um, the pitch diameter I'll leave it as it is and what else I can change the thickness to let's say I think uh, anything like 15 should be okay then I'll click okay and I will get this gear um, designed here but that is not what i'm going to show you today but you can design this and you know right click and uh, do whatever modification that you would like to do to it but this is not what i'm going to show you this i've done a video on this and you can search for that and uh, use it even as I've done it you've seen how I've seen uh, you've seen how I've done it so let's go to the dimensions of this particular gear here I've got the dimensions here okay so we have the this inner diameter or radius 15 the next is 20 the next one is 25 and the last one is 30 <coughs> so in effect the diameters are 30 40 50 and 60 and then the width here is 20 now inside here as you can see where my case are, is hovering the thickness there is 10 so let's see how we can do it from fusion I'm going to open a new page now I'm here so I'll click on create sketch and I'm going to select the uh, top plane once I've selected I'm going to click on the circle command and I'll start with my circle remember the first circle is 30 and then I will right click and repeat circle here the second one is 40 I'm going to right click and repeat and that is 50 the last one is 60 so I have right clicked and I've got 60 here so quickly what I'm going to do here is <coughs> I've got all that I'm going to get a line drawn here and this line I will use projection line here so as long as this is fine and then I will escape the next thing that I'm going to do is let's go back here and see uh, here you will see that this the top width here is 2.4 and the bottom is 6 so let's go back to our drawing and what I'm going to do is this line I'm going to offset it by 1.2 to the right and 1.2 to the left so what I'm going to do is I'll click on that 1.2 
1.2 and then I shall repeat the offset command take it the other side minus 1.2 and then <coughs> again the offset I'll click the middle one the first land I did and then offset three to the right and then again the middle line which is this so I'll just offset it minus three what I'm going to do is that these four offset lines I'm going to select all of them one two three four and then change the the lines the um, projection lines to thick line so I've got it like that and what I'm going to do is just get a line from here from here one second so from here to there and in fact this line I will change them I need bold lines so <clears throat> I'll select that select that and change it to bold lines now what I've got here is this so I can select this line and that and this and that and delete all of them delete all of them because I only use it to get my measurements done so what I'm going to do next is to trim off this I've got it done like that and I think it's good to go so what I'm going to do is just say okay to this and now I'll click the home tab to get a symmetric view and then quickly let's come back here uh, sorry here see the thickness is 20 so let's go back to our drawing and extrude this 1 to 20 so I'll click on that then I'll take it down this way and I'll put in minus 20 and then I'll say okay now the drawing is all the sketches are gone they are missing so to get it back just go on to the sketches here under the browser and click on it and just click on the eye here to get those sketches back let me do this the teeth I will take it down the tooth. I'll take the tooth down by also minus 20. <coughs> and I'm not going to join it. I will select new body here. And then I would say okay. Now the next thing that I have to do is to take this down to extrude this side. So I will just take it. I will extrude it. But before I extrude I'm just going to go to the profile plane here and I'll say offset and I'll put the offset distance as minus 5 and here I would like to extrude it x distance of minus 10 and I would say okay and the operation type join is fine for me I've joined it now I can uh, take this sketches can hide it and when we turn it you can see everything is there like that now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to press the S key and now search for pattern going to use a circular pattern then I will click on that and it's the next is to select axis select the axis I'm going to click on this line here which is fine and uh, 
the quantity i think it's 20 anyway when we go back there and count is 20 so i'll leave it as it is and i'll click ok now the next thing that i have to do is that see they are not combined so i'll just use a combine tool here and select this and select all of them together and uh, you know combine it select all and combine and say okay and this is done so this is how to construct a gear uh, if you have a dimensions to a particular space yeah this is how you can do it in fusion thank you all for watching and keep expecting more videos from me